make sure we're recording here for everybody. Hello, you guys. Welcome to our February celebration. I'm so glad to have you here. So glad for those of you who are watching on the replay and uh, just so thankful to have you in this group. I, um, I love coaching. I love inspiring you. I love seeing that together. Like there is, um, like it just creates synergy, right? It creates synergy for us to be in an environment where we can ask questions, where we can just be ourselves, where we can try something new, fail, tr try something different, right? And have that space of encouragement to do that. So um, I love our Be Fit for Life gym and hope that you will continue as you're here to continue to make that space for you um, to uh, just really, really be valuable. So um, Rebecca, let me know if you're able to unmute or if it's not a good time, let me know that too. But I'm wondering if you, if you, if it is, if you might just share, um, one or two things that you took away from February or February, um, with the group, always really good to kind of start with our wins and what we see. Okay, perfect. While she's getting ready to do that, I'm going to pull up our slides so we have those ready to go tonight, too. And um, I wanted to share, too, one, one thing that we'll um, move into that I will reshare the link is our um, two pounds at a time challenge, right? Uh, as I read through your um, surveys this month and what went well and what didn't want, what, or what you want to continue to improve on still that weight loss and seeing that consistency and, and making sure that you kind of are able to build motivation through that process was something that people are still looking for. So I want to tell you that is a great way to do it, right? When we focus on those small movements forward, that's what helps to propel us in the right direction rather than looking forward to how far we've gone. So you guys know that I love, I love, love, love that book, The Gap and the Gain. I recommended it last month. And if you didn't get a chance to pick it up and read it, like I really want you to get it. But really what it talks about is that we can either choose and we'll actually, maybe I'll even be able to pull up a graphic tonight because we're gonna kind of talk about this at the end um, of how we can live in the gap or we can live in the gain, right? The gap seeing like how far we have to go um, and always measuring ourselves against what we haven't achieved versus living in the gain, which is looking back to see how far we've, how far we've been able to do and measuring that way, right? When we use that challenge, like two pounds at a time or be able to see those things, it gives us, not only like small milestones to move forward, but it actually gives us a metric to be able to see that happen over time too. So tomorrow morning, I will repost that in the group um, so that everybody has a chance to print that out for March. So if you didn't join us or weren't able to get that, make sure you look for that tomorrow morning in the group too. So, and then Rebecca, welcome. Hi. All right. Share with us, if you will, um, just a little bit about what were a couple of things that you really took from February? Um, consistency, even if circumstances weren't perfect. And then <clears throat> focusing on what I did gain, like um, my arms look a lot better than they did. So I was like, just celebrate that. That's good enough. We'll get more in March, you know? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's like, we always want to see like this huge, like everything improve all at one time. But then when we start and we can see that, that consistency pay off through those changes and you're like, okay, I get this. Like, this is going to keep working. And, um, that's why like pictures can be really valuable too. A lot of times just looking at ourselves or, or things like that, we don't notice those changes, but when we look at those pictures and see that change side by side, um, like it can really be shocking sometimes, like what that difference is. So what kind of things did you kind of develop in a mindset standpoint, you know, as you went through, like, cause you had illness and you had, you know, different ups and downs as far as workout times and when you could, because you're coordinating with your spouse and things like that. Like what were some things mindset wise that helped you to, you know, be able to feel good to continue forward, even if it wasn't like exactly how you planned it to go or exactly perfect as you would have liked to expect it to be. What things right. help? 
definitely realizing the whole scope like this is an entire month i'm going to feel better um and then also what i could do i just realized you gotta let good be good enough and let go of perfect no oh, i like that let good be good enough mm -hmm. yeah and we start to realize like that really is the best right good being good enough is the best because it's the thing that helps us to move continually forward versus waiting for that perfect moment or for the for us to continue to be perfect which what what that does is what it stops us right it stops that progress because we decide it's not worth moving forward because we didn't do it exactly how our mind said we should do it which leads to zero progress or reverse progress too so really understanding that concept is huge right to to let good be good enough i love that let good be good enough that's going to go up on my um affirmation board so i think that's a great great soundtrack let mm -hmm. good be good enough perfect thank you for sharing that so Awesome. Okay, you guys, like, I'm going to share some slides with you and just kind of go through some announcements and things like that. Um, well, let me see. I gotta share my screen first here. And kind of talk about where we're going and then do some celebrating too. All right. So welcome not to January to February hope or yeah hopefully I changed everything else <laughs> like I'm like I didn't both build slideshow <laughs> all right so announcements um as we head into March so our March challenge group is going to be called make make over your mindset so again 21 day challenge so we're going to start on Monday March 7th so this week in the group we're kind of doing some preparation with that we're kind of doing some mindset and self-love um type work this week so each day look for a quote or some type of a um just a a, a post from me about something that uh, is self-care related and um just a little challenge for the day right so today's challenge was to just look at yourself for 30 seconds in the mirror and just really take yourself in, right? And, and just see yourself. Sometimes we just get uncomfortable with just seeing who we are, seeing that, you know, the things that we love about ourselves and the things that we don't love about ourselves are all just part of who we are, right? They all make us who we are. And as we acknowledge both of those things, things we love, things that we maybe don't like or want to continue to work on or change, like it just helps us to be in power and control that we, um, can start accepting ourselves, right? And that's a huge piece of self-love is just being okay with who we are and understanding that we were made perfectly um, with our faults, with, with everything good, right? Life's 50-50, even as far as each of us individuals go. Um, so I hope that you take the ch chance to do that challenge today um, and just really like embrace all of who you are. So I'm excited for March um, because really when we grow on the inside, it reflects on the outside, right? It reflects in our work, it reflects in our motivation, it reflects in how we're able to show up for ourselves. So um, taking a month to really work our insides as hard as we are our outsides through our nutrition, through our fitness, um, I think is something that you'll be really excited to do. And I wanted to just make sure that you have an opportunity to invite friends. So this week is a great week to invite other people to come into our group. So if you know someone who wants to be healthier, who wants community, wants to um, really work with other people, make sure to invite them, right? And we've got um, a great program this year. So with everyone that you refer, you um, will get a free thank you gift from me. Um, and be able to it just really helps us when we when we do things with people that we're invested with right so you referring a friend is going to help you it's also going to help your friend to be more excited and ready so um i if you have a friend let me know i'll send you the link um, or here's the link to the form that you can refer them and, and move forward with that so also if you're getting ready to renew like your reach body on demand or things like that through the end of tonight there's a $20 off for all challenge packs, and it'll also give you 50% off of our new program. So if you're kind of in that um, to renew in the next month or two, like reach out to me because it's a great opportunity to get a lot of products for a discount or look at some of those things um, to take advantage of that um, as we go through. And um, 
this is going to be our next um, new program. It's called um, for the four, four week gut protocol. And it's actually a new nutrition plan. So it's a nutrition plan built to help you to um, really kind of just reset your gut health. Um, so I'm really excited about this because I think a lot of times, like we don't know that how we feel can be improved um, or how it can be improved until we really try some different things with our food and see if we have food sensitivities, if we, um, if some foods that we eat maybe just don't serve us as well as they serve other people, right? Through doing some types of, you know, through doing tracking and things like that, I've definitely found foods that help me to feel better that help aid in my weight loss and some foods that help make me feel like more gassy and, and just bloated or more inflammatory in nature. So this is a really great way to identify some of those problems, incorporate more foods that are more healing to your body. Um, there is a four week workout program that coincides with this called, um, four weeks for everybody. So it's a very low, no impact, not even low impact, but no impact. So there's no jumping, no moving. So it's very good for your joints. Um, there it's a four day a week program. So for those of you who like, like lift four and some of those other programs, um, or job one where they're short and easy workouts. Um, this is a, this will be a great one. So you can really tailor it to your level of, um, intensity, but it won't be, it won't have the impact. So they're 30 minute workouts, four days a week. And then it's encouraged to do movement other days, right? So if you're somebody who loves to run or just wants to maybe incorporate more moving or walking or things like that, that'll be a really great opportunity um, to be able to do that with this program too. So I wanted to just take a second and show you um, this program. So let me pull that up and I'm just going to show you this video really quick here. Let me come here. Let's talk about the things that no one likes to talk about. Gas, bloating, indigestion, cramping after you eat, diarrhea, constipation. Ever experienced any of those? You probably wouldn't expect all these things to be related to one thing, but they can be. It could be the food that you're eating. So what do you have to eat? Sorry, you guys, my computer's not working with me as far as pulling things up that I need. Let's talk about the things that no one likes to talk about. Gas, bloating, indigestion, cramping after you eat, diarrhea, constipation. Ever experienced any of those? You probably wouldn't expect all these things to be related to one thing, but they can be. It could be the food that you're eating. So what do you have to eat or not eat that can help with all of that super uncomfortable stuff? It's actually way easier than you might think. And it's what I'm teaching in my new nutrition program, the four week gut protocol. The four week gut protocol is easy to follow. I walk you through how to do it step-by-step step in just a few short videos and give you all the support you need during the four weeks to help you see and more importantly, feel a difference. I was having bloating, I was having fatigue, and not having those symptoms, I feel like I kind of got my life back, and I want to feel this good all the time. It's time to feel great again with the four-week gut protocol, exclusively from Beachbody. Okay, so that was a really, really short intro. Um, in the group, I posted a link that will take you to um, a landing page that I created, a, a sheet all about the four week up protocol. It has a little bit longer video for you and some more information. You can learn about Autumn Calabrese if you're not familiar with her as much as a trainer um, and just really start to um, see what that's about all about. So make sure to check that out um, if that's a program that you're interested in. I am really excited because um, for me, I just really think education is so important, right? And the more we educate ourselves, the more we learn, the more um, information we're armed with. And that helps us to be more motivated. It helps us to know better what we want to choose and select what kind of decisions that we want to make. So um, anything that educates us, I really, really love. And I think this program is going to be something that can really help us to 
um, be open to really understanding food better, what serves us, what doesn't serve us, um, and really how to make that work best for us to really enjoy the food that does serve us best in, in um, a good way without feeling that restriction and feeling those deprivations too. So um, again, if you want to take a look at that, let me know. Um, there will be, um, that will open up on the 15th. And then our group for that will start on April 4th. So I'm really excited. That'll be our new, kind of our new product of the month for April. Um, so we talked about the four week gut protocol. Um, I'm gonna partner that with, with a new program that I'm putting together. So this will be um, kind of a standalone course, but learning how to mindfully lose weight, really. So working on the mindset of weight loss, working on that inward journey, as much as that outward journey. So for those who join us in April, they're actually gonna get that live and be able to have that um, as free, for free as part of that, um, as part of that program. So continue, I'll continue to, feed, to create some more information for you, but um, make sure to follow up with me any questions and things that you have. I also wanted to just make note that we are still doing our Sunday meditation. Hopefully everybody's getting those emails. I send one out usually 10 or 15 minutes before, just as a, a quick reminder. Um, I also had gotten some feedback from some of you in the group who really wanted to participate in that, but weren't available during that time on Sunday mornings to do that. So I started to broadcast those into the BOD group again. So it will go live into there. So you can watch it from there. You can watch it from the Zoom line, or if you can't make it at that time, go back to that anytime that you want. Um, one, the one we did this Sunday, um, yesterday, was a manifestation work uh, meditation with one of my favorites, Gabby Bernstein. And um, it's something that I use part of that. Since over the last couple of months, I've used it every single morning, um, leading into my vision and, and doing that. And it's just been, it's been awesome to, to have that and really see the changes that come into my life as I think on those things and really visualize and create those things every day in my life. So um, it's an awesome way. We just kind of spend a few minutes with some fun and just catching up um, and then do our meditation, which is usually 10, not more than 15 minutes. So, um, so they're short, but they're just a really great way to connect live in the community. So take advantage of those on Sunday morning, put that on your calendar. This is the Zoom line that we use, the same one that we're using for this. So um, get involved with that, it will be fun. Okay, so our program champions. So I wanted to give a shout out again to Molly Vandervoort. So she um, actually finished job one for the third time um, and just has had really great success. I think every time she's done it, she I know she said she gets very, a lot stronger. Um, she's found her favorite workouts and job one's a really great program because um, it really can work for everyone being 20 minutes a day, five days a week um, to really, really do that. So, but it's really fun. You guys to see your confidence continue to build as you can, as you continue these programs. So I know she's going to be working on a hybrid for a couple of weeks and then doing our four week gut protocol and um, four weeks for everybody after that. And then our impact award for this month, um, again, congratulations to Molly. So um, a couple of things that people have said with Molly is she's super consistent and upbeat. Um, she's consistent in showing up every day and how she shows up every day is inspiring and she's always positive and cheering people on. Um, you guys, like, I really want to commend you, um, all of you that are showing up every day in the group, um, and being present and logging your workouts, logging your Shakeology, using the tracking to do your meal plans, um, and water and your, your measurements and weight, all of those things. Like the more that you do that and the more you're in there, one, you're collecting a lot of data, right? So I hope that you're using that. Um, because I know I'm using that and reaching back out to you every month and what I see from what you, what you're doing and from the information that you're gathering there. So the more consistent you are, the more I have to be able to help you, but also you can use the tools to go in and see if you're getting the results you want, what behaviors do you want to continue to use? If you feel like you're not getting the results that you want, you can easily go in and see what needs to change. What things can you tweak to do that? And the second part of being involved with the group, you guys, is we have an opportunity 
to utilize our expertise. So you've come to this group with me as your coach, but you guys all have your experiences. You guys all have had successes. You guys have all found ways to create better success for yourself, as well as we all have things that we need to grow in, that we want to expand, that we want to, that we maybe haven't found quite the right thing or the right recipes or, th or things like that. Like coming into that group and when I see you share the, the positive things that are happening, but also your questions and what you want to know um, more about, like that's the secret sauce, right? That's the secret sauce to success and to really rallying and, and being accountable in an accountability group is to be there. If you don't come into the group, if you're not there in the group um, and, and not only, you know, connecting for yourself, right? Using that tool as a to collect your data to make sure you kind of check off the boxes of what you want to do every day, but also to contribute there, um, to look at the daily posts, to really go through those exercises, to comment and help and support other people as you're doing that too. Um, if you're not taking advantage of that, you're probably leaving something on the table. So I want to challenge you this month if, if you feel like you could be participating better in that group to do it this month and see how it really helps and affects what you get as far as your results as you move forward. So Molly, congratulations. Um, and then I wanted to leave you with just some training tonight um, uh, on how to level up your thoughts, right? And I put this quote here, making, make decisions based on outcomes you want, not on your emotions, right? So much of what we do is controlled here with our thoughts, right? And I wanna teach you this model tonight that you can use um, to coach yourself better through all of the situations that you go through, right? So here's the model. Um, sometimes you might see it called a CTFAR, um, but this is what actually happens to either get us the results that we want or why we're not getting the results we want and how we can modify that so we actually can make our thoughts work in our favor, right? So with everything that we do, we have circumstances, right? So circumstances are just facts. They're facts are exactly what happens. There's no opinion in them. They're just, they're things that we can all agree on and things that just are, right? So it could be things that people say, things that aren't necessarily in, in your control, but just exactly what happens or, or things that just are, right? So they're neutral. They have no, no emotion, no specific, um, opinion one way or the other, they're just very neutral, right? So our circumstances and what's happening in our lives and to us, um, those trigger our thoughts, right? So the thoughts are what we're thinking, right? They're the stories that we're, we're telling ourselves, the sentences that we have in our head, right? You might call them drama sometimes, right? Because they do influence what we do. And the reason that those thoughts, those stories that we develop, um, create, they create feelings in us, right? So feelings are those emotions. I call them the vibrations that you feel within your body, right? Those feelings are vibrations, things that you feel, and we can describe them in one word, right? So maybe sad, frustrated, upset, happy, joyous, fulfilled, confident, right? All of those are feelings. So our feelings can generate positive vibrations in our body, or they can also generate negative vibrations in our body, right? And depending on what those feelings are, whether they're more positive or whether, whether they're more negative, it affects how it affects and fuels our actions, what we do, right? So our actions are the behaviors that we want to do or that we do or don't do, um, how we react to things, right? So when we have positive feelings, it usually, it brings, it brings us the opportunity to do things that help us move forward, right? When we're, our emotions, wow. when our emotions are not feeling, we're not feeling well, or they're not positively fueling us, a lot of times they bring, those emotions will bring us, shrink us away from doing the things that we need to do, right? Maybe we feel guilt or shame or afraid, fear, right? All of those things. So they can cause us to do things, but they also can, can cause the things that we don't do that don't move us forward, right? And our actions create the results that we have. 
right? So the results or they manifest the things that actually happen, right? The proof of the things that we have in our life, right? And our results, what happens, that proof that we get use, always comes right back up here and it reinforces the thoughts, right? So if we're having negative thoughts or doubts or insecurities, or we tell ourselves stories about things that we can or cannot do and why, again, that will cause a certain feeling in us, which will um, move us to either take action or not take action. And that will manifest results or it will manifest that we don't get results, which will then go back up here and um, reinforce these thoughts. And it makes us stronger and stronger all of the time, right? In this model, when we look at our thoughts, a lot of the thoughts that we're having are unconscious, right? They're happening in our subconscious mind. And they happen that way because we've told ourselves over and over and over, we have these thoughts, we have these stories, we create these things that keep us comfortable, right? They keep us in that zone of comfort. Um, and that's exactly what our mind is supposed to do, right? Our mind is there to keep us safe. Our mind is there to help us to avoid danger, to avoid pain, to avoid all of those things. So of course, it's going to do the things that we're most comfortable with. Now, when we wanna make change, change is never staying comfortable, right? Change is never staying within those walls of our comfort zone. It's always pushing us to expand and to move outside of ourselves and what we do. So knowing that and knowing that the thoughts we have probably are they're gonna keep us safe and not allow us to move out of our comfort zone, we have to start recreating, recrafting those stories to help us to move forward, right? You've probably heard the term limiting beliefs. So limiting beliefs are, are just that. They're, they're beliefs that limit us or keep us within that comfort zone instead of moving forward. So I want to teach you what I teach um, in my mastermind class. And we work a lot with this in the um, fit to be fit for life elevated group where we do the Friday sessions and the group coaching in there. But I teach them how to coach themselves and hear these thoughts that they have, the thoughts that are keeping them stuck and how to transform them into their true beliefs, into the things that they really know, that we really know about ourselves and our ability to move forward. So the way I do that is helping you to understand the push method, right? So we take that thought model and we utilize it to put ourselves in the right space to have pro positive progress, right? So I teach you, I'm gonna teach you about the head voice and what I call the heart voice, right? So our head voice, is always pointing to our past experiences, right? It's rooted in scarcity because our past experiences are limited, right? We only have so many of the things that we've experienced, right? So it's finite um, and we can, we can quantify that, right? Our past experiences. So when we look at the past, our brain and our body and in those vibrations that we have, right? Those feelings, they wanna keep us safe. Right. So when we try to push past that into doing something new, we experience these feelings, right? Fear, doubt, weakness, failure, judgment, shame. And when we feel those things, what do you think? What kind of action do you take when you feel fear, when you feel doubt, when you feel judged? Right. Usually not the actions that you know you need to take to move yourself forward. Right. So what happens is it manifests that we don't reach those goals. We don't make that progress, which then goes back to that story, the story that tells us we're not enough, that we couldn't do this, that we're not capable, that we've tried before and we failed. So why would we try again? Right. And it reinforces that story to make it stronger and to keep us right where we are doing the things that we're doing that we want to change because that's most comfortable. But the good news is, we have the power to choose to change that every single time. Every single time you feel doubt, fear, weakness, failure, shame, judgment, anytime you hear that head voice talking to you, you have the opportunity to look into your heart, right? So I call our heart voice um, our true self, right? It's like your, your, your spirit, your true identity, like what you really believe you're capable of, what you know, like it's everything that you already have inside you, everything that you're capable of doing, right? So we know we're hearing our heart voice because our heart voice always points to what's possible, 
right? It points to our purpose. It points to our strengths. It points to having faith and hope and love and gratitude, right? Our heart voice is rooted in abundance. It tells us we can do anything and have everything that we want to have. It points to our future, right? And what's great about when we look to the future for our solutions and how to move ourselves forward is that the possibilities are endless, right? The future holds endless possibility because it hasn't happened yet. So it, it takes nothing off the table. Nothing is off limit. No solution is wrong um, or can't be tried because we are looking down the road and knowing that what we want is possible, right? We don't have anything to judge it against, to be scared or weak or doubt, right? So when we have our thoughts coming from our heart voice, they, they automatically generate feelings that are just like these, hope, faith, strength, rooted in purpose and potential in love, for ourselves, for other people involved, right? When we feel those things, what does it give you, right? It gives you the opportunity to push forward into doing new things, to taking the action that you need to have um, and being able to move forward and be and in a positive way. So I wanna kind of show you this in, um, this is what I teach um, us to do is to kind of take. So when we hear that head voice, when we hear those voices, right? We need to just develop where we're going with this. So I want to, let me blow this, blow this up maybe if I can here, let me put these away. Um, and I wanna take you through this push method, right? Rebecca, if you're still kind of active, active able to unmute. And if you have a thought, maybe that you have, we can use that. Otherwise I'll just kind of use an example, um, something that we could use. Okay. Okay. So what's the thought that maybe you feel stuck in, or again, it just isn't creating positive feel feelings for you, something that you want to kind of move forward with? What would be, tell me about um, a specific thought or, or, or situation that you might be in. Something that is difficult, you mean, for me yeah. to yeah. persist through or... Yeah, just anything you like, is there something you're feeling stuck or? <laughs> yeah, like, like with my weight, it's really hard. I'm very good at maintaining, but really hard to lose. So um, that is just hard, like thinking it's, it's so hard to change it. Like why bother? That kind of a thing. Okay. Okay. All right, let me put this a little bit in here. Okay, so let's kind of look at this with a specific um, situation, right? Okay, so the facts are, so you're trying to lose weight. Right, even just five pounds would be great. Okay. <laughs> so working on losing five pounds, let's say that. Okay, so that's our fact, right? Again, it has no emotion to it. It just is what it is, right? We're working on losing five pounds. Let me see if I can move this up here. Okay, so the story that comes up for you when you think about losing those five pounds is it's really hard to change my weight. Why bother? Right. Okay, when you tell yourself that, what is the feeling that you feel? When well, just that story? Defeat. Yeah. I defeat? feel defeated. Okay. Yeah. That's a good word. Or if it's not so bad, it's discouragement. I mean, defeat is kind of like the end thing, but discouragement comes before that. Within the process of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. So when you feel defeat, like think about a specific time that you told yourself this. Okay. Like I want you to actually think of a specific time, whether it was today or last week, like think of a time when you had this thought, it's really hard to change weight. Why, why would I bother? Okay. So think of that specific time you felt defeated. What actions did you take? Like what happened when you felt that? I just didn't worry about it. I just didn't try so hard. I let that part go. I was like, we'll focus on something that I can, that I feel like I can control more. Okay, like what? 
Um, like being consistent in the workouts, like uh, the measurements, that was helpful. But yeah. like losing the two pounds, it's like, I don't even think I can do that this month. I think unless I am really strict with what I eat and um, so we have birthdays, you know? So it's like, I'm not gonna, I just, I just kind of gave up, I guess. Okay. on trying to focus on the weight and I just focused on what I could control instead. Okay. All right. Okay. So kind of switch focus, like, what did you to, to lose the weight? Like what, what did you switch away from? Like, what did you feel like you would need to focus on instead of, in, you know, to be able to, to continue to lose those five pounds? What are things right. you focused away from? Well, for me, I have to stick to those slow loser menus that I have, which is a three week process. If I want to lose weight, it's got to be the three weeks. And then I also have to substitute dinner for um, a shake. And that's not always filling. So those are two, two main things. Okay. So, um, so not following the specific eating plan that you needed for that. Right. Yes. Gotta find a chart here. Okay. Awesome. So <laughs> as those things happen, okay. So you kind of took your focus away from that, took your focus away from the specific eating plan that you've had success in losing that weight and instead just focus on workouts or other things that you can control. And, um, so what did you manifest? Like what happens what, as you do that? My weight didn't change, but my mentality did. So the weight just stayed, which was good. But I mean, I didn't gain is what I'm saying. But my mentality, it didn't, didn't get better, like more empowered. Yeah. Okay, good. So the specific thing that you have that thought around, which is losing the weight. So it didn't change, right? So we didn't focus on the thing that you knew would help you to do that. You focused on other things, which again, doesn't create actually negative, you know, it, it created some other positives as you realized focusing on some of those other things were good, right? But ultimately right. it didn't help you change that weight, which means it didn't help you change the story either, right? Right. So you still carry that story with you. So let's take a look now that we've kind of got your head voice here. Let's take a look and look at your heart voice, right? So our facts are going to stay the same, right? They don't change in, in either of those stories, right? We, we still want to focus on losing our weight. So when we listen to our heart voice, again, we want to, when you think about sometimes you know, we can start here with the thoughts. Sometimes we can actually start with the feeling. So before we kind of look at the feeling, is there a thought that you could have that might help you to not feel defeated when it comes to this story? March is a new month. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow and trying again with um, just better choices definitely making sure I get my shake every day because it really makes a difference in like you have said before makes a difference in your nutrition and if you're not getting those nutrients you want other things yeah when it comes to losing the five pounds like what is the feeling that you want to generate how would you like to feel um in control of my choices and not guilty because if you're making the wrong choices you feel guilty for them okay so would it Just, be, would like confident would that be a word you yes use? confident is a good word okay so you feel confident in those choices right yeah yes. okay so what um so does this thought kind of help you to feel confident march is a new month yes definitely Okay. Awesome. So March is a new month that helps you to feel confident. What actions do you take when you feel confident? So if you're in that situation where you're like, okay, this comes up, right? It's really hard to change my weight. 
you know, it's not working. Why, why bother? I have birthdays coming up. We have this, this month, you know, so that means it's not going to work. I feel defeated, right? Instead you say, okay, March is a new month and you feel confident. Like what actions do you take now? Cause we're looking forward to March. We haven't even gotten into March, which is awesome. Right. So what actions could you take now? Now I am going to, I have a group now locally that I can follow a plan with and get help, you know, like accountability. So I have that in place. So we're going to try it this month as far as following my plan and staying accountable to that. Okay. So connect with like a group or other friends. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. What other actions? Mm. I don't know. Um, I mean, the, the workout's going to stay the same. So I'm not, I'm not sure. What choices will you make with your food as you feel confident? Uh, making sure I track the shakes when I'm having them. So don't forget. And um, being more aware of the timing between foods so that I'm not snacking before this, you know, two and a half or three hours is over. It's, uh, I don't want to lose track of time this month. If I have to set a timer on my phone that says, now you can eat, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Good. Cause that helps you. You found that that helps you. If you have that, that time frame in between, right? I really lose track of time. Otherwise, Okay. So you're not eating maybe frequently enough, right? So that would help you right. eat frequently enough and not be overly hungry then when you exactly. need to eat. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So if you were to do these things, um, stay on, you know, track, track your food, stay, make sure you have your shake every day, be aware of your timing. So you make sure you don't kind of get hungry or hangry at times, right? Overly hungry. Yeah. Um, you've got group support, both in our bod group, as well as a local group, right? Which always helps, but it's always nice to have people right there and you yeah. continue with your workouts, which you've done a great job, right? And you feel confident about that, carrying that forward this month. So what are the results that you would manifest when doing these things in March? I think I'm going to be more confident and think thinner and just feel better um more positive self talk and do these things allow you to lose weight have they helped you in the past to be able to lose weight they have yes awesome so we get to our goal right when we have that so um like this model you can use i'm going to send i'm going to give you guys a workbook that has like this in it, right? So that you can develop and see like your head voice story, right? Which I call your old story, right? When we're listening to our head voice, we want to change that. So I call it our old story, right? You can go through this and it's great because a lot of times when we're saying it out loud, we start to really see like, oh, that doesn't make sense that I would act that way with that story, right? And I want to change that, right? So it empowers you to change that, to create a more positive thought for yourself, a more positive story that will generate the type of feeling you want to get to. And the reason I ask you, like, what feeling did you want to have? Because a lot of times that's a good place to start, right? Sometimes I'm not sure. I'm not sure what story I want to put in there or what thought would, would I want to put in there, but I do know how I want to feel, right? And when I know how I want to feel, I can start telling myself, okay, these are the things, this is the story, this is the thought that's gonna help me to be able to do that, right? So um, all of this takes time and work, right? Because is this, is this thought gonna come up for you this, this month at all, Rebecca? Yeah, yes. It will, right? <laughs> it will, mm -hmm. maybe almost daily, maybe even mm -hmm. hourly sometimes it seems, right? Because yeah. this is what we're, that this is what we have created to believe, right? This thought keeps you comfortable, right? This thought keeps it, keeps you from having to exercise as much discipline as is needed to help you to continue forward with your weight loss, right? So that, you know, I call it like that internal thermostat stays right at 70 if we follow this old story, right? It stays the same. 
So we have to continually work and, 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 you know, really create these new stories and tell ourselves these new stories and affirmations to really help to get us in the state of mind to hear this new story over and over and over again until we utilize it so much and we're taking these actions and we're starting to see the results because of it, the results that we want, that this will automatically start becoming our story, right? It'll start becoming the thing that we naturally start thinking of subconsciously as we create that. And what I love too, as I teach people this model, not only are you able to like coach yourself through this, but the more and more we recreate these stories um, away from our limiting beliefs, away from what we, we hear in that head voice and start using our heart voice, the more that continues to come out in every situation, right? Because we start to realize those emotions that we're having, those feelings that we're having, and we recognize we can say, I get to choose if I want to feel that way. And if I don't want to feel that way, I can just change the thought and that will change the feeling, which will help me to take better action right? To be able to have courage to do, to have discipline and do the things that I need to do and be able to manifest those better things in my life. So I wanted to ask you, because, you know, you said we have birthdays coming up and things like that. This new story and these actions, does it allow you to still have fun with your family, to celebrate those traditions, to celebrate those birthdays and feel progress? Like how can you have both? Yes, and I have had both before because if I think ahead and plan ahead, I'm like, okay, this is my healthy version of ice cream that's for me only. This is my healthy cake that's just for me, my little treat. You know, if my mom comes to visit, um, if I'm going to have chips, I can pick a better kind to have once, you know, like just really limiting and preparing for myself. And it really works. Then I, then I feel confident in my choices. I know that I've got that there, so I don't have to look for anything else in the freezer, you know? Yeah, awesome. So, and I bring that up again, because our, our head voice, those limiting beliefs, want us to believe we can only have one or the other, right? We can have fun and celebrate a birthday party and it be good for us and for our family, or we can make healthy choices and it has to be, it has to feel hard. It has to feel, you know, all of these things. That's what our head voice wants us to think. So a really great way to overcome that too, when we feel like, okay, I have to make a choice. When you feel like you have a choice, always ask yourself, how could I do both? How could I have both? Right. How could I have fun at this party? Celebrate my son, celebrate, you know, with our family, have a good time. And still lose weight in March, still work mm -hmm. towards my five pound weight loss in March. Right. And when we think that way, again, it just, it propels us in the future because we're not limiting our choice to say, well, in the past, we've either had to give it up. We've had to give up the cake. So we don't have fun or we have the cake and then we don't lose weight. Right. It's, it's, it, it wants us to think we have to make that choice. So always ask yourself, is there an and here? Is there an and here? Can I have both? Is there a way for me to be able to have both and be successful with that. And I guarantee you, there's always a way to have the and. And when you ask yourself that, all of a sudden solutions that you weren't able to think of before in that other state of mind will come to you and you will see a lot of success. So I encourage you guys like use this model this month as you feel those, if you feel a negative feeling about something that you're doing or trying, um, if it, if you think a negative thought or some of those beliefs that you know, you, that are keeping you stuck, like if there's already obstacles, you know, you're going to face, write them out, write them out in this model, write out those stories, reshape those coming from your heart, right. From abundance, from gratitude, from knowing that you, any possibility that everything is possible for you and you can move forward, um, to be able to do that. Right. I keep this on my desk. And it says, trust your heart voice, trust your heart voice. And I keep this right on my desk so that I always can remember any time that I'm starting to feel fear or anxious or um, uncertain about what I need to do, that I can trust myself here and create the things that I want to create. So, okay, you guys, thank you so much. Rebecca, thanks for being on live. You're welcome. And uh, so good to see you. And I'm excited to put this affirmation on my board. Let good be good enough. 
I love uh -huh. that soundtrack. Um, <laughs> And that's going to be a really good one. So we're going to have a great month. I love, love, love teaching about mindset. You guys, you're going to see so much internal growth, which is going to reflect in your results. So I just want you to know as you leave here that it's possible. Whatever you want to accomplish is possible. You know, see the steps, see the progression, print out that tracker because you can lose those two pounds this month. I know okay. you can and you'll feel good about it. And um and I'm always here to help. So bring your questions. In fact, I'm going to put at the top, I'm going to pin a post that says, um, ask the coach. And I'm going to, it's going to just, it'll be a Google form um, and it will be anonymous. So you can ask anything there, right? You won't have to feel judged or anything like that. I'm just going to put it anonymously and I'll use that in some of my lives to start answering some of the questions that you guys have, if that might be a better forum you know it's some because sometimes it's like it's hard you know to start asking some of those questions but have courage do that and find the support that you need so thank you guys for being here we'll see you in the group bye rebecca bye, bye.